This episode is brought to you by TwoLinedMusicCutStore.com TwoLinedMusicCutStore.com is your all access to culture. Check out cultural merchandise like leggings, hats, mini boxing gloves and bags. Also t-shirts like hip-hop, nature, rock bands, reggae and dark fantasy. Fast shipping worldwide. That's TwoLinedMusicCutStore.com Now let's check out this episode. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Muscle, and this is another Two Line Music Cuts Entertainment Report podcast. And today, we have a legend from the 80s in the building today. Listen, you've seen this man on Black Star, and then you've seen him on King Jammies. You know we have in the building today? We have the lyrical Tonto Irie in the building today. What's going on, Big Boss? Yes, Muscle. Yeah, we is on the hustle. Muscle okay. and hustle. You know, if you sell back, you hear that? Yeah, man, give thanks. Give thanks to having I on the I platform, you know? Thank you so very much for coming through today because I know somebody like you has a very interesting journey and story in the business that we want to talk to today. Yeah, man, willing to share. All right, all right. On this program here, we like to take it from the beginning and then bring it right up to 2021. So our first question is this. Where did you grow up in Jamaica and what attracted you to music in the first place? Well, I was born in um, St. Mary in a little district named Bonnie Gate. But I was told by my mom that she took me from the country when I was one year and six months. And she brought she she brought me to um to Jonestown. When I was like five years old, five, six somewhere there, I we moved to Trenchtown, which is the adjoining community. You know, and from there, we moved to Augustown. So I grew up in Jonestown, Trenchtown, Augustown, but I was born in St. Mary. Right, and you see the funny thing with it, they're all towns, Trenchtown, Jonestown, Augustown. You know what yeah, I mean? They're here, all towns. Judge, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. And what was your attraction to music or what was the area like when it came to music in the first place? All right. Um, it's kind of weird, you know, because you know how you have some artists start out from early, like five, ten. You know, I started DJ when I DJing when I was about like 16, 17. And mm. what got my attention the first, first time was a DJ named Lord Sassafras from Black Scorpio. So, so the thing is, um, there was a youth in my community named Big Rai where he used to go out and dance them, all of the big dance them, the Virgo, the Gemini, the, you know, the big dance them, Emperor Fate, Jalov, and he used to carry back the, 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 um, the cassettes back then, completely in a boombox. So I heard Sassafras, you know, DJing on a, um, I think his high fashion, one of those, one of those rhythms. And I stopped, you know what I'm saying, and start listening. And you know what muscle? That first day I listened to Lord Sassafras, I learned that lyrics that I heard him DJing at the time. I learned it. I mastered it. The thing is, I couldn't get the high fashion rhythm in the truth box. So I had to learn to put that lyrics on other rhythms. Okay. And lock it. So Sassafras is the man originally. That was, uh, do you remember what year this is we're speaking about here? Jaja. Ja. <laughs> it's about, um, well, 80, um, it, it was about 79, mm -hmm. 79, 80, because I wasn't the, the thing is, you know, when I say these years, I wasn't DJing for a long time, you know, before I made the break, you know. Okay. It was a short period of time. Mm -hmm. Okay. What so about then, 79? What about 79? 79. Okay. So then now you heard Sassafras, you like what he was doing and stuff. That piqued your interest. So then what was, what did you do to make steps towards actually DJing on a sound or whatsoever the case was uh, at that time? Yeah. Uh, here what you know. You have a little sound in an August town in general. See? And you see, when I start, 
I only have one lyrics, you know. I only had one lyrics back then, and that lyrics that Sasaf I heard Sasafras with. That was the only lyrics I had. I had no knowledge about music back then. Mm -hmm. No nothing. So I was green. So I used to go up to General and watch him come in like big head balls. The big head balls they used to run August down, you know. Okay. Big head balls, there was a DJ, you know. So I start go up to General you now and start. Catch me like a practice and from the joke box and the thing is anywhere general I play, mm -hmm. anywhere general I play, I am there. Want a piece of the mic catching my practice, you know, grooming the thing. From there. So you were on general with you and Big Ed Bowser. Was there any other notable name that was on the song at that time there? To be honest with you, you know. It's just some like little area DJ, you know, some like little area DJ from back then, like a Joker, a Irie, a Baba, you know what I'm saying? Um, just some like a youth, Ruta Dan, you know, just, just some like little area youth, you know them things they got? Yeah, but, but General was a stepping stone also for me, though. And after I leave General, you know, after I, uh, well, but I wasn't permanent on, on General song because General was less sound that get a lot of dates and play out like that, you Thank know? You. But once we start, you know, getting another thing in our areas and the area, the community start embrace, I and I, I said, well, we have to go march out, you know? So there was a joining community next to Augustown named Ellison Flats, ah. where, that is where Blackstar, you know, Blackstar base. Mm -hmm. So I am on Gosano Bumson, Know of Black Star, but don't know them for talk to. And in 1981, in 1981, Black Star song was in Popping Square playing. Mm -hmm. And you know, them, them song, they know, them have a little buzz. So you can't, them time they you can't go up to now, go sound and Take up mic like you think is is a free thing. You can't. You're mad. Mm -hmm. You can't do them thing that get a conk in the head. <laughs> you see me? So you know what? No. Me have to stand up one side and look for all of the man them around the sound mm -hmm. and get a feel and and, and 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 get a thing like feel like me can approach him and talk to him. So I'm on side down the black star now. And me I say, yo, like me I say, we can get a talk. You know, the microphone. Yeah. And he asked me if we can DJ. Because them don't really, I don't think they know, they know of me back then. Mm -hmm. You know, we say, yeah, man, we can do a thing. And Black Stars, that's song we used to play disco and them thing there. R&B. So when him change and go so boom, microphone. Microphone, it was a bar opening, it wasn't a dance, it was a bar opening. And when the iris start, the whole place, mm -hmm. people start gathered from all about. And from 1981, December to be exact, mm -hmm. I was on Black Star permanent. And when you got to Black Star, who else was on Black Star at that time there? When I, when I got to Black Star, it was only Danny Dread. This Danny Dread now is not the Danny Dread from Zodia, not Danny Dread from Walton. This Danny Dread is a Danny Dread from Tavern. You know, yeah, he, he was there. Um, I want to tell you, you know, you know, say, it's only Danny, you know, and then Brigadier used to pass through, you know, mm -hmm. like, on special occasions, you know, but I, it's only Danny Dread was there when I got there. Yeah. Okay. So they did, and Danny Dread was a DJ or a singer? Both. He sing like Dennis Brown. Okay. Okay. So he was a singer. I know most songs at that time there, they would have like a few singers and a few DJs. So he was a singer DJ and then you came in as a DJ. Right, 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 right. And what was your name when you got to Blackstar? I want to tell you, you know, you know, say a ton to ranks though. Yeah. <laughs> ton to ranks. Mm. But here we know. Ton to ranks, me I say, you know, 
Because when I turn the ranks and the ranking and the, and, and, and the something that's, that's something there, I have to turn to you know, say, you know, I'm going to work with a rank something there. Here we are now. Lone Ranger. Lone Ranger was a favorite of mine. If you notice how I DJ back then and how I close on, on, the, on the rhythm, mm -hmm. even if the lyrics was a bit, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But some people don't hear it the way we lock the rhythm, you understand me? Mm -hmm. So I learned that from Lone Ranger. Seeing and and then the brigadier came about same time. You feel me? Yeah, the, I didn't name Iron now because I was so um in um in love with Lone Ranger style and and and, and tried to ride the rhythm as rough as Lone Ranger, as tight as Lone Ranger. You understand? Um I remember there was I was I was saying, you know. Every DJ was having they, they, they had um like like superstar names, Cowboy and like the John Wayne and the the, the Nicodemus and the you know what I'm saying? El Figo Barker and whatever, whatever, whatever. And me I said, boy, the wrong snag work, you know, so here me I say, me I say Lone Ranger, you know, par with a youth name, Tonto, you know. So me had the Tonto. But me I go put I rep on it because I, had, uh, I, I, I also had used to love Welton Irie mm -hmm. also because Welton Irie to me was the first Irie. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Somebody just take the Irie thing there and the Tonto thing the Lone Ranger thing, yeah, and just put it together. And, and here, here we have yeah. the great Tonto Irie. Yeah, the great Irie, you know? Girls great. are the Irie. <laughs> All right, so then now you said you got to Black Star, you and Danny Dredd are here. Do you remember some of the dances that you played on Black Star at that time there? All right, here we are now. So Black Star, Black Star, Black Star had some memorable moments, mm -hmm. some dance, like it's anything we keep a student union, mm -hmm. judgment. Yeah. But the thing is, you know, Black Star. The most memorable one, though, was that four song clash in Student Union. Yes. With Stereo Mars, mm -hmm. Metro Media, Torpedo, and Black Star. Zane. Classic. But the thing is, you know, I had left Black Star then. Okay. So it was only like Tiger Bat came in and Tiger, Tiger was there, Mal for Earl Cunning and Brock Back. You understand what I'm saying? But Jamis wasn't playing that night. So me I say, Black Star is still a part of my heart, so I go up there and give them a strength. Because that dance eh? Black Star lock off everything. Crazy. And wasn't Crazy Black Star one of the smaller listen, songs? Black Star lock off everything. Stereo Mars, Metro Media, Torpedo. Everything lock off, and there comes Tiger from nowhere. Mm -hmm. That dance made Tiger. The student union four sound clash. Yeah, man, how you say, man, after that, Tiger to look forward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is one of one of that, that that is the most memorable one. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, anywhere Black Star plays still, you know, it was a joy, you know, because here you no. Know, it's an artist and Black Star song. It's like Brigadier Jerry, like, mold us, you know, to not talk slackness. Got you. If you notice, if you notice back then, Black Star sound, no DJ, no DJ from Black Star sound, with talk slackness. Mm -hmm. Under me and in a she and Naja. We'd more as a Rastafari. Never not something, but more as a Rastafari. We're not, we not in a slackness. But a whole heap of dance Black Star play most. A whole heap. 14 churches of Jamaica. And everywhere black when Black Star make a break there. Everywhere black. Big, big, big. Because I remember a dance. It was either 82 or 83. Black Star versus Metro Media. I think it was 
Woodford. Oh, Park. you know what? Um, I'm tell you something. It's the last CI. Dita Mitchell. Judgment, you know, here. My lord, Blackstar, lock off Metro Media in a Woodford Park. Read mm -hmm. my lips. Blackstar, lock off Metro Media in a Woodford Park. I forgot where that club name is. They're right next to that checker cab. Mm -hmm. Place near to Woolmers Prep School on the road. Peter Metro, remember, though, and listen to Peter Metro. General to you know, the man they that run the road, you know. Yep. Them man they run the road, but here one now. Remember, you know, I in a the man them area. Mm. Woodford Park, some years ago, boy, I wonder if Brigadier I go forward mm -hmm. to come help me and Danny Tread because Metro Media, Peter Metro, screamed the wrong thing at the time. Um, Whoever, whoever did that at the time, but a in a them, them neighbor stick. Hmm. I'm say, yo, watch this now. You have a squad near Ranger squad. You hmm. see? It's when Peter Metro a DJ and them man they turn the rifle in at the ear. Eh? Judgment. Hmm. So them man they come at the dance. Ranger squad. Hmm. It's, when, it's when Metro Media turn on and start. Yo, me nervous, but here what no, watch this. You see me, I was my worst enemy, you know. I always underrate myself, and I'm saying this publicly because it's the truth. Maybe that's why a lot of people said, turn to your butt, you mm -hmm. I never see it. I don't know why, you know what I'm saying? It's like everything that I, I'm more like a perfectionist. Anything that I do, it's never good enough for me. I always want to do better. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? But Ranger really Squad is on the go so boom and take up the mic now. Me and Danny Trader alone come. There's no Brigadier. Brigadier gone and far in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is in a Peter Metro area now, in a Metro Media area. You see, when we start, I turn we turn off Metro Media. <laughs> when Ranger really Squad turn the rifle in that ear, judgment, the morning, the man then pick up a hundred and something spent shell. Yeah? Yes, that one too. Peter Metro. You me know you remember. Or Jimmy Metro, you don't remember. Lock on off in our area. Crazy, crazy, crazy. You know what I mean? And this is black. Again, Metro Media was the bigger song for black stars. Yeah, Metro Media, because listen, listen, don't get me wrong, you know. Not because I'm saying this, you know. Mm -hmm. Metro Media. This was before he had left and went to England. Yeah, talk about before that. Mm -hmm. Metro Media and him come forward from England again. Mm -hmm. Zane come run the place again with Sky Juice and whoever, you see me? But mm -hmm. in a them time, the Peter Metro, yo, anyway, them man, they block. Mm -hmm. Block. Mm. But much mm -hmm. um, Black Star, Black Star was a song, was a nice little song played different. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just mellow. People just love Black Star. R.I.P. Smokey Dan. R.I.P. Yami. Yeah. Because the song was from Ellison Flat, so I guess that was the area where any time a song came into that area in particular, that was Black Star's area, so they'd rough them up over there. Um. Yeah, but but you know what? You know, Black Star wasn't so much of a clash song either to Inner Muscle. Okay. Black Star, because Black Star, it, 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 Black Star was a, a why Black Star just so different. The owners, they had different ideas. You know what I'm saying? But then, they, they could see way ahead of time. You know, they've gone too soon. Mm -hmm. They must even know that little sound. They know the Black Star did Wasiman. Of course. Lick a bit on Wasiman. Mm -hmm. But there was a whole lot of whole lot of dance, whole lot of dance. Some of them I can't remember off and right now. But especially when Brigadier around muscle, when Brigadier followed a black star dance, is that yo, she don't know star. Mm -hmm. Music sweet them time there. Anthony Malvo, Danny Dread, um, sometimes Chaka D must pass through. Because mm -hmm. the thing is, the thing is, you know, you know what? All of, all of us is from that little near near surrounding you know from Augustown, Ellison Flat, Oak Flat, Tavan, 
the Brigadier, the Nancy, the Chakademus, the Danny Dread, the Tiger. Tiger just come from down the road at Warp Road, right? It's a same little circle, Kingston 6 and 7. Holy provides, holy provides the Black Star song. Holy provides. Them. How long were you on Black Star for? You know, say, all right. It wasn't long enough because I started DJ on Black Star in December of 80, 81. You see? And I left, I left about um, 83. I would go back. Mm -hmm. I would go back and DJ if Jamis is not playing out. Like you hear all some, some, um, some some cassettes back then in 84 and 85 and i'm still djing on black star mm -hmm. maybe jammies wasn't playing those dates and i would just surface and and give them a strength you know for sure but, but i stay with them about about um maybe two years and something and i know it was a fully three years ago because I, I i i i i i went by jammies by 83, 83, beginning of 83. Around there. Or somewhere in between there. But okay. 83, I, I, I went I went to Jammies now. So what was your like your journey like to get to Jammies now from Black Star? Because Black Star is 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 this nice little song, you know, but now you're going to the bigger song. What was that journey like to get to Jammies? All right. Um, the reason why I, 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 I choose to left Black Star to, you know, it was, you know, I start, you know, I was wondering how the hell was I going to get to being recorded by producers or whatever, whatever, because I, I didn't, I had no idea. I didn't know any producer. I didn't know nobody in mm -hmm. the business, to be honest with you. Like I said, I start from I was like 16 going on 17 so um thing is um there was a friend of mine that me and him went to school together named bill he had some friends in um waterhouse who are who who, who were producers ours you know one of them is gone now one of them is still alive uh, marshall and myri r.i.p john marshall so um my my, my little friend bill took me to Waterhouse and introduced me to Marshall and Myrie. Back then, Marshall and Myrie had some nice songs producing for Half Pine, Pad and Tony, Junior Reed, you know what I'm saying? King Everall, you know. And the thing is, back then, they was recording, like, live albums. Okay. So they went by Jamis, you know what I'm saying? Record some live album, thing and thing, and Jamis like, I'm on, oh, oh, I'm on here, oh, I'm on sound, and he tell Marshall, say, he must send me back, come check him, at his jamming. And the next time I went to jamming, man, um, jamming just tell me straight up, you know, he want me, I'm DJ him, him sound. Back then, it was only Pompidou, Tolochi, and John Wayne was there. That's who I went to jamming and saw. Okay. You know, so it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, it was not hard transformation to leave from Black Star to get to Jammy because the people who actually took me by Jammy was some top people, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, and, and not only that, I had talent and Jammy's love when here. And this was before Bobby Digital. There were no, only John Wayne, R.I.P., R.I.P. Tolati and Pompidou was at Jammy's when I, when I got there. At the time there, so this is as you said, pre Bobby Digital, and this is probably pre Steely also. Yeah, man, how you talking about man? Them time the Steely, Steely, I play for Radix, man. Ja, ja, um, Steely in a forward role, and Jammies are playing up for Jammies. Yeah. If if Steely was playing something for Jammies, mm -hmm. eighty three, um, maybe if Jammy have a session or whatever, whatever song. I, 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 no, 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 not eighty three crazy there so okay so then you got there it was you it was, as you said you met Pompidou, Toloti and John Wayne were the only people there when you got there yeah that I remember mm -hmm. that I remember the okay. only only people used to pass through like other DJs but I'm talking about King Jamis the producer King Jamis superpower only John Wayne Pompidou and Toloti was there 
And the crazy thing with it, remember, 83 is pre-digital. So this is the pre-digital song on Jammies. Because remember, Jammies was the one that really gave the world that real digital push. So you were DJing basically analog this time here. Analog. That's correct. Analog. Straight up analog. You see me? Yeah, from, from, from me start, 79, forward. And, 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 and the thing is, you know, oh... The journey, I hear a lot of people um, experience in the music business. And I can tell you this, apart from one area, apart from one area, the journey was an easy ride for me. I'm telling you, the journey was an easy ride because guess what? I didn't have to stand up at no studio gate and buy things to people and but no i went right through the gate mm -hmm. with some general you see me and it never take me any time to break that's why this was analog this was all analog though. all analog until it did till you know the changes on the guards Definitely. Okay, do you remember any of the early King Jammies dances that you started doing when you got there? There was a there was a clash. Mm -hmm. There was a clash in at I think it was the Mali Beach with Jack Ruby mm -hmm. and Jammies. And I think it was um this other song from Montego Bay. Um African symbol. Mm -hmm. I think it was yes. African symbol i i i i might be a little off there but i think it was african symbol jammies and i know for sure jack ruby mm -hmm. you know you know what i'm saying it was memorable but one of the sounds still i think it was african symbol though if I'm, i think it was african symbol but that was one memorable dance and you know there was one in alpha tree road oh my god yes that one <laughs> down gemini club Nicodemus, Saf, Pan, Junior, Reed, Pad and Tony, King Evra, John Wayne, um, um, Louis Rankin, R.I.P. Um, just a whole lot. Nick Demos, you said Demos already. Oh, like, yo, that was a memorable dance. Memorable dance. My microphone hot. God, this is King Jammy's superpower we're talking about here. Yeah, man, King Jammy's superpower. All yeah, right. but, but Jammy's used to play. Listen, one of the time, you know, when Jammy's sound leave, leave out of the studio, you know, mm -hmm. the only time we would have passed back there unless Jammy's is playing like East, like St. Thomas or one of them places, eh, and we have to forward back through town. Maybe if you go to Montego Bay or Ochi, we would have stopped. But so all the time, sound up on the road for for weeks that's how crazy it was over at jammies yeah man yeah man jammies jammies you have to understand you know it's a jammies anyway jammies are playing a stage show you know because mm -hmm. dj and singer from all walks of life them time then mm -hmm. anyway jammies are playing judgment crazy three names i want to ask you about with jammies how did nitty gritty Chaka Demos and Admiral Bailey get involved with Jammies. All right, watch this now. Memory of a little clean. <laughs> All right. Nitty Gritty came from. Nick, Nitty Gritty was my neighbor, you know. What? Me and Nitty Gritty grew up together, you know. Yeah. Nitty Gritty was about like four houses mm -hmm. from um, between my yard and Nitty Gritty yard. See? Me art. To be honest with you, I live at 13 Augustone Road, mm -hmm. and I think knitted gritty them was like uh I don't remember them. But they was like about three, four houses away from me. Mm -hmm. So the thing is now nitty gritty. Um I'd left Augustone and went around Sugar Mine at. And you know. Because I need him start knit up in here, you know, I'm not take long for growing. You know. yeah. That's where the nitty gritty come from, you know. <laughs> you see me? So the thing is, in forward, in forward, in 
come out forward with one of the jams because back then, you know, you see, if you're around a certain sound or a certain studio and they are not doing anything for you, really, mm-hmm. you want to find greener pastures. You know what I say? So that is what went wrong with Nitty Gritty. He had left um, human promotion and just forward around the jammies every day and just on whole of island. Because I want to tell you, you know, I knew Nitty Gritty could sing from Augustown because any stage show there Augustown because when I time in you know, Archie Bella, we used to call him before the Nitty Gritty Archie Bella okay. because his right name is Archibald. You know? His right name is Archibald. So we used to call him Archie Bella. See? But when he left Youth Man Promotion and come to Jamis, I never even know that he changed his style because that is not how he used to sing. He used that to wasn't sing. his original style. Yeah, he used to sing like Dennis Brown. Originally? Yeah. Nitty Gritty used to sing like Dennis Brown. See? It's when he come, when he followed up Youth Man Promotion and maybe bit over jungle over them side there. I don't know where him come up with this style because he never used to sing like that. Yeah, but the style, the style. But but he came by Jamis every day, sitting around, sitting around till Jamis start recording. Um Trocademus now. Trocademus, I think, originally came from Waterhouse, you know. Trocademus just moved uptown. Um, I think it's Kentire Hope Flat because his baby mother was there. Yeah, but we still have him as an uptown DJ scene. Because Chaka Demos is the first one who took him to Waterhouse, you know, not on a musical journey, but we just tried with him to Waterhouse. Seeing, but Chaka Demos was always passing through Jamie, he wasn't a permanent DJ on Jamie's song. Chaka Demos was a freelancer, anyway, the money there, Chaka Demos gone feed. So Chaka Demos was always forwarding and whatever. I I I remember one time I I flew out and was in and was in America, yeah. And this time now Bobby Digital came to Jamies and 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 and, and me I tell Bobby say we need somebody else with us because yeah. Respect John Wayne, Tullity, Pompidou, but we did want somebody with a knife. You see me? We are chop hard. And no disrespect, but me just feel like they never had a chop hard enough. Every day, one, two, three, ba, 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 um, yeah. We did, we did, we did want, you know? So one day, Carl on fire and, and Bobby, I said, Tonto, me, 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 me get the, 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 the right man for DJ the song. Mm-hmm. So, me I say, oh, and he said, ah, 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 you, 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 you need Admiral Bailey. Yeah. Next time they know, I don't know Admiral Bailey. Okay. Don't know him, don't know of him because in Jamaica back then, you know, you have some little man from some little area, they run for them area and then they branch out. See? But so me never me never really know of him, see? But when I actually when I actually go back to Jamaica and hear Admiral Bad Bad See? So me and Admiral now. Admiral came about. I don't remember which year Admiral Admiral forward, you know. I don't I don't remember. I don't remember which year Admiral forward, and I'm not gonna call, not gonna call a year, but you know, I was there before Admiral. Admiral came after. Not long, not not long, Admiral forward on the song, not long after, but I don't remember which year. Good there, because even the reason why I brought up those names here, even Admiral Bailey, I remember listening to a jammies where it was you and Admiral on strictly studio one rhythms for the entire cassette the entire 90 minutes of studio one you remember that yeah, yeah man that, but that the thing is you know muscle that wasn't a dance that's what the you mean? weird thing it wasn't a dance here what no it's a jam is jam is a man just string up in song 
and just play music. Rona, Rona in my yard. Mm-hmm. Rona the studio. See, and that night, R.I.P. Steely and Bobby Digital. That night, Bobby Digital and Steely was there. Seeing the two of them who wanna search the record, wanna play the two of them, Bobby Digital and Steely. And them just decide to play pure studio one. And it was only me and Admiral alone. Mm-hmm. Microphone to hand, and to microphone. It was me and him. Murder. Was not dance. You could have fooled me because listen, that's probably one of the that that goes into probably the top five King Jammy's cassettes of all times. No, yeah, no, for real, for real, for real. But it was not dance, but then you can you can imagine now Steely, Bob Digital, two of them are, are select. Mm-hmm. And just me and Admiral alone. It's the four of murder. Crazy. I'm pretty sure to this day people remind you about that. Album. Yeah, I'm on. Oh, yeah, some awesome man. Yeah, I'm on. Mad, man. Big, big, big. But, but then, but then too, you know, mm. we don't, we don't, we don't touch major worries. Mm. We don't touch major worries. We have to touch major worries. Mm-hmm. You see, it's a major worries now. Major worries came about. You see, when major worries start come, start forward in your own journeys. I, I I am not shooting down what other artists said about major worries, but me me remember this vivid as day when major worries came around jammies. Nobody, no, nobody, not too in the youth. Me talking like nobody never too in the youth because you know almost major worries was a at the time, like a second tier, third tier, because you have, listen, it's a back then, even now, mm-hmm. you don't see Jamis and me an Admiral or a Josie Wheel or whoever I talk to Jamis and you as a little you uh, sit down out on the corner or, or come, come sit down and listen to Jamie argument I talk to. No, I don't say it go. And major worries was one of those youths where, you know, him humbly, you know, him just sitting by himself, you know, him not in a whole heap of talk, you know, and like me, I say, second and third tier youth, and seeing a we are the star, Echo Minor, Half Pine, Junior, Tonto Irie, Admiral Bailey, but we are the star. You see what I say? But he walked to me you now, and me, I go give myself credit. You see me? I always love you know, but jam with the youth them who are try to get to the thing, you know. Mm-hmm. Just a whole joy with them, you know, just a whole joy with them. And guess what? This is how I remember. I used to sit and talk to Major, seeing me and he was a friend, so to speak, you know. But guess yeah. what? Just my personality, we used to just go sit down and listen. And hear some of the things that the youth them I got you back then. Major worries tell me. They used to ask him, have some little ingrown flesh and brary. And he used to tell me in journey and tell me so the man them stab him up. I think he tell me boy I have some man each up a ice speaker or something in his back mm-hmm. and all them something there. Mm-hmm. I sleep as him in him, him, him around a jammies. Seen? When major when major worries break, seen? I was in America. Major Wars did even break a good two years, you know, before he died, you know, because guess what? I remember I came to America. Um, I was on the road in 86. In 86, see? And Major Wars died in 87. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So he wasn't around for a long time, but for the little time that he, you know, he met the run there and his name start called. I mean, Jaja. But no, for the man them, no, for the man them. I you know, when them sister him have a little talent now, you know, some of the man them would have draw close and say, Ray. But you know, when 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 him did down and out, me never really seen a man a hold a jar with him and a talk to him. All right, listen. I allow Major to, 
to come forward in the studio when jam is a record high. See? And for uh, for for for, for in time jam is a record them artists them. Jam is no one. No man in the studio. You see, you have to have a connection to be in the studio for jamming or running out. So when me have, when when I'm when, when I was recording, it a ring, seeing he gave me a line. Which line he gave me, I don't remember. Yeah. But the reason why I am saying this, that to show you that me and him did have a little somewhat connect. Because he couldn't in the studio, jam would have run him out. Yeah. You know, but 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 he had a style. He had a style version. Right now, really futuristic, where you could see that how he was DJing back then, it was like, where did this guy come from? But I did, I wasn't even ready for the style. Mm -hmm. There was two style mm -hmm. that came about that I wasn't ready for back then. It was Tiger mm -hmm. and Major Worries. When I say I wasn't ready for them, you know, I remember nobody was DJing like how Major Worries came out. No. That was different. And Tiger with that energy, no one. Why? Yo, the man that it's sound to be. <laughs> he, um, at that time, it was too futuristic. You couldn't really understand what what they were trying to do at that time there. Well, I mean, if I know, when I time, Tiger and Reggie, no disrespect. When I time, I say, yo, to myself, because I can't say it to people, me, I say, boy, Tiger, a madman. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm never ready for that. Yeah. I'm never ready for them things that you want the man. The other man get wicked. Man get bad. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Talking about Major Worries here. Do you remember any dance that you and Major Worries was on where you say, okay, this is a memorable dancer? No. Yeah. No, because like I'm saying, yeah, if any everybody can check. Yeah. Just check all around. Major Worries did not stay around, God rest his soul. He never, he never stayed around for, for a long time. So even when me and uh, Admiral a uh, born up jammies, mm -hmm. um, in uh, the early days, you, you, you notice you never, you never hear any cassette with we are Major Worries unless it's, it's a little warm up or the front part of the dance or, mm -hmm. you understand what I'm saying? Is after I I left I left for a while and, and was away for a short time. Mm -hmm. Well, short time about a year or better. And a year or better to be exact. And like I'm saying, that was eighty six <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. And he died in eighty seven. So he never stayed around for a while and, and we never I, I don't remember any memorable dance for me and him. Maybe him, more him and Admiral. And Chakademus, not 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 me. And you were on the island when he died, or you were away when he died? No, I was away when he died. I was away when he died. So yeah. I, I I was just me, me just get me just get a thing say it say he, he and Admiral just finished mash up. I think it was a show in Floyd Fort Clarence wasn't there. I you know that's what I got. It was fresh. Or some one of them one of them show in Fort Clarence right and um. You know they were coming back and you know, stop at a bar or whatever, whatever, and whatever transpired. But he got killed. Uh, mm -hmm. Hurt my heart. Okay. Good, you uh, come from the slum, look like him, did out to elevate and, and, and make a money and change in people in life, you know. Mm -hmm. Crazy. So then now you're on jammies, full swing and everything. When was the first time you actually went from DJing on the song to start recording for jammies? I want to tell you, you know, not long. Not very long. Like I'm, I'm saying, I will. I start recording for Jammy from the first time I got to Jammy. Mm -hmm. From the because remember, I tell you how oh, I got there through Marshall mm -hmm. Myrie. So like me, I say Marshall and Myrie, big wig, is it me? So, um, not only that, Jammy's. He said I uh, had a good voice, like old Mason, blah blah blah, and. You know, I started recording from Germany, the from the first time I went there. First song was Gila, Gina La Gina La Gina La Gina La Gina mm -hmm. mm -hmm. How did that do for you? I want to tell you, you know, it, 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 you know I, was, I was happy to know that, you know, from, from just DJing and sound out till, you know, I actually have a record out and yeah. first time I heard it on the radio. 
it's like I have to wait, I have to take a seat, you see me? Because all along, this was what I always wanted. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. First, it was, you know, one day I will see my name on a flyer. And when you see a name, dominate around the place, come up on a flyer. I said, oh, John, I can't wait till I hear myself up on the radio. Mm -hmm. Then we go see a tune put all the jammies and you know when when I actually heard that song on the radio, Virgin is like it was yo, I was overwhelmed man because this 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 now is the is what I I have always wanted. Mm -hmm. Start recording and start travel go foreign and you understand what I'm saying? Because it doesn't it, it not because I never tell you you know that you know my life wasn't champagne and caviar style lifestyle no we grew up poor in general mm -hmm. grew up poor mother do domestic work and me no know no father mm -hmm. I had a stepfather once but he died early you see me but mm -hmm. my mother my mother my father R.I.P. to Daphne COVID take her away, you know? But Yeah. I you know. Love my mother in a Muslim street. I go after us a little bit, but I love my mother. For sure. Love my mother dearly. She just died, you know. I just didn't even died. realize that. Condolences. Yeah, man, give thanks, man. So if you like me, I'll think about my old lady and my mind straight, straight from me. Them to point to me that try me. It's just it's just one of those things where especially in a conversation, topics go here and there, and once you start to remember remember things, you remember other things that lead you down a path that this is where we are right now. Yeah man, but mm -hmm. mother. But uh um, also I grew up poor. Mm -hmm. I grew up poor. My mother tried her best by doing domestic work. And one thing I can tell you, I never go to school. I went to Papine secondary, you know, which is Papine High, you know, but, you know, went to Augustone primary. Um, but that he, that same year, I was going to turn 12. So I didn't stay there for a whole, a whole year or so. It was just a short time. And you know, I never got to school without lunch money. My mother would never allow us. She prefer, she prefer not do it out for that day and make sure me have lunch money for go to school. You know, and life was hard in Jamaica, here, sir. Mm -hmm. Life was so hard in Jamaica, but you know, my always, my always lick out and say, "Boy, yo." The music wasn't kind to me. Yeah. But 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 it made a big changes in my life. And you know, although although I wish certain situations could be better mm -hmm. on, 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 on all sides, still I feel big up King Jamie too, you know. I have to give him credit cause Without King Jamie, mm -hmm. you know, and 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 how him just he saw the talent and he, he, you know he, 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 he work with it and without King Jamie, I don't know if there would be a ton to hire mm -hmm. be known, you know. So still I forget King credit where credit is due. But at the same same token, I just wish certain things we, we, we could ideal it on a better level, you know. But I am not trying to justify anything for any producers because you know we shoot them down at time. Not physically shoot them down, but in terms of bang them with words, you know? Then mm -hmm. I don't really believe like enough of the, the um the producers back then, you know, a lot of them, you know, did know. But enough of them, I don't think them did know certain things in terms of publishing and royalties I, I don't i don't think a lot of them did know either mm -hmm. yeah what 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 i think um 
happen some of the time make even some 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 people burn them out is like them will go overseas and them get a big advance mm -hmm. them get a big advance i'm talking about producers in general for sure then they would come back to jamaica and you don't get no money not even a dollar and i mean as a little youth i grew up you know your name a call in the street you know as a dj you want you know up your image and yo sometimes i cry cry to see where some little youth got you in the music business you know Listen, I am I'm about to say something and make sure this. Make sure you put this in at the team. Mm -hmm. It's a dance hall, reggae. And one of the most corrupt industry in the world. And make them listen, listen to me. Muscle. I am saying it. Them and, and listen, when I say corrupt against each other. Got you. They are them. Listen, man. Listen, listen. And they are some of the most ungrateful human beings on earth. And I, I say this again. Dancehall, reggae music. They are so corrupt against each other. And some of these characters... They are so ungrateful. No fauna on the need for change in a ways. Bun me bun more and bun on the fauna. You know. But now I'll call and name I'll spear on the zin. I hear what now. This is one old DJ. Now I beg no 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 nothing. I have my own thing. All when me never have become have. Yeah, on a two, on a mind two, dirt against each other. And not for, not for uno, a vent, me a vent in a arm muscle. Yeah, man. Me a vent, it's enough for you guys, and don't edit it in a muscle. It won't be. Yeah, it's enough for you artists. Listen to me. That's why I meet me as a man, you know, me as one of a DJ from back then. Mm -hmm. I don't run in. I will see them. And I am not healing them. I would look to the right. Because guess what? You see, back in our days, uh, let me tell you, so the Peter Metro, the, the Super Cat, the Early B, the John Wayne, um, Admiral Daly, Chakademus, um, Lieutenant Stitchy, Sun, you see that era right there? We always respect the elders always and yes you are everybody now will agree for sure but guess what back then yo the man them yo 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 most of sometimes it hurt my heart you know sometimes it hurt my heart oh the man them live against each other you know me now work no show with the man they because because i him around the place so I, come on dude it's your job don't take out another man food out and plate. For sure. Wise up, you out. And you found that this has been happening in the business from a long time ago, or this is something the, recent? The muscle. That's why I'm allowed the business muscle. Mm -hmm. Muscle I choose to love. I left this business in the in the heights of my career. You don't know that to muscle man. For one, what I should, you know, I, I regret it eventually because what I was saying, you know, Tonto, you should have just one billion catalog or your lion log because now it would be lion log. You see me? Mm -hmm. But I, you know, I, 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 I was still recording, but my all wasn't in it because guess what? I didn't know anything about um, publishing and royalties. Honestly, I did not know. Yeah. And people can say, yeah, how could you? I did not know. I was doing it for the love because I, be, I, I started loving music. So I was doing it for the love. And 
you know, just imagine DJing on Blackstar for $50 a night. Hmm. Coming to Jammies to $250 a night. Big difference. Big difference. Hmm. You see me? But, you know, the music business, the music business, muscle music, the music business is dirty. Very much. The music business is dirty and muscle. I'm saying this with a passion, my lord. You know what? Hey, man, tell us something. Me have a bridge, you see? Mm -hmm. Name. Dr. Cleveland. Yeah. AKA Lieutenant Stitchy. Mm. Me turn to Irie. You know much thing me know him do? For some little man. Mm -hmm. You know how much thing that I know him do for a portion of youth in the business. Mm -hmm. Never hear none of them call him name yet. Yeah? Never, I went and I won't, I won't get in details, mm -hmm. but not for uno to one grateful. Uno must be grateful when people do good for uno. Yo, me not like not for uno, you know. Yo, must think a joke, me not like not for uno because uno mind dirty and uno come for interview, come talk about um, the man them feel live loving and the man them feel word of mouth. Make me soon an action. Make me soon reach out there and help up one on the bridge. Mm -hmm. I want to get one little tune and the tune big and you know, start walk like you know, unapproachable. Like the people in my building. You know, Yo, come on, my you tone it down, you. Tone it down, tone it down, Jenna. Must have vent me, I think. See with me. I saw me do interview, you know. Sometimes me just vent, you know. I, I hear you, but. Man, you know, yeah, man. The man, them, yo, yo. Big up the younger one, them two, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, but I feel like I don't know the name, you know. The Massacre, the Javelani, the Six, you see me? And Jaja. Mm -hmm. Fam, mm -hmm. La Bass, Chronicler, <laughs> yeah. Real General, TJ. Yeah, now, but I feel like we don't know them, you know. Skilly, yeah. You have a next little youth now, I race them again from up in my way, they were, 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 were young boss, intense, high water, mm -hmm. up more. No, so the elder them listen on you know, that me I make on the know, you know. Yeah, just go and eat food, youth. That me I tell you. Jaja. Was there ever any time in the business where artists thought that this was their way out where they could actually either become rich or make something really good for their family so they could get out of the situation that they're in? Yeah, man. Um, uh, let me tell you something, you know. You see, this music industry, it's a, it's a music, mm -hmm. it's a blessing. For sure. Music is a blessing. And I honestly, in my own opinion, I think music came about to help eradicate poverty. That is my opinion. Okay. You know why? Because this thing reggae music to you know, all you hear me, I, me I give it to them, you know, me I give it to the music, you know. Mm -hmm. The music don't do nobody nothing, you know. Got it's you. the people them in a space. Mm -hmm. You follow? One hundred percent. The music itself is a blessing. The whole are now. You know, so keep it on. You know, so sis like a lunch. You know, see Tony Rebel, you know, see Bojo Bantan. A whole heap more, you know, see the conscience and the Mavado and Bugle and What are you talking about, man? Prodigy and Jesse Ryle and mm -hmm. You see me? Yeah. Hey, what? You think the man the life no change? True music? Music is a blessing, man. I just demand them in the space. Man, them fight them one day too much. And this so that is a burning desire we more and shoot out a long time, you know. No for one I then enough me at all about all. Yo, big up Anthony D. Real general. That me I tell you. You see me? Yeah man, no for them, no for them, yo, Chano. Not me I tell you. No for the man them, no for the man them for go, man. No for the man them for go, man. No for the man them to clean up them heart. No, you receive that set. Clean up on the heart and come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, the phone of a good man. Yo, we're not gonna, we're not gonna stop going like we don't want to mash up the business a long time. This is all enough. I want to eat that, you know. 
Yeah, that's why the Japanese and the European them are built to know. Sure. Also, yeah, you hear me? Let's go and talk here, Saka. John, he's a man. Yeah. No, it's a, you see, especially coming from somebody like you that we've seen on the big stages from the stings to the jammies to the worldwide and all that. It's you have the real insight to how it really works, not opposed to what we've seen to how it really works. Listen, you see, you will see us walking around and you know, yeah, starting. Hey, 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 hey. We are human beings, son. Mm -hmm. We have expenses just like you, you know what I'm saying. We are fathers, the women, their mothers, you know, it's, 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 it's not that easy. Like a lot of people think, you know, we just get up every day and we shoot the tree and money drop off. And <laughs> it's a job, man. Mm -hmm. It's a um, job. Also, we can fire thing. Yeah, man. You're good. No disrespect, you know, but you don't know, you know, muscle and hear me now. You see me? Me is a man love free flow more time because some of these artists, yeah. big up chronics, and on a friend we are look, Zane with us a make you know some city work, yeah, mm -hmm. big up coffee. I hear you, big them up. All right, what was your first hit song that you actually got that started to really take the place? The Slim Thing. Mm, give us a story on that one there because that is an interesting story there. Uh, here what I'm now. When the sling thing came about, um, um, Noel and Wayne Smith, well, before I even knew about Noel, yeah, it's Wayne Smith. It's Wayne Smith. Me see with a little thing there and whatever, whatever. But me never like it. Because it was too fast, rapid. Wayne Simit used to sing fast. If people listen to Wayne Simit, him sing fast. Yeah. So, he must sing pan it as fast as it was. But here we know, he's not Janice first. He took the same thing to him. Okay. He took it to that same, the same bridge in the camera run by Janice. John Marshall. Marshall was the first person he carried to. And oh, I know that because I was there. Mm -hmm. See, like me, I say, if you watch the link now, Marshall and Myrie to Jamies. So, in bring it to Marshall, because me and Marshall, I'm still bridging. Mm -hmm. What else, man? Is it me? So, bring it to Marshall. But guess what? Marshall, Marshall never, he never ready, he never ready for that. He might tell, he might tell, he might tell, he might tell, we ain't so we ain't right now. You know, say, channel star. I don't even know what to do with this, basically. That he must say, and too fast, and in the, in the own studio. So, for him to transform that to something, I forgot to pay much of studio time and whatever, whatever, whatever. So, he say, you know what? A jam is fair of this. When them character on a jam is, jam is was there. Jamis was in England. And but Bobby was there. So the whole saga until Jamis forward. You see, Jamie, Jamie are God in the business, you know. Mm -hmm. Jamis not said no to nothing in music. Remember what Tonto tell you. Jamis, like James, senior. Them man they not said no to nothing in music. Once in ear, some, sometime in ear, some things where you know hear. Because guess what? Jamis goes a boom. Remember, you know, we are talking about now from drum and bass. You know, when you make a rhythm, yeah. you have the keyboard, the drummer, bass, guitar, Zane, do your thing, and you dub on where you want to rap, dub on. You now we are talking about a synthesizer, a Casio, a thing forward in our castle and jamis make that jamis build that and guess what now win smith already had his tune on it he was the first one to record on the same thing win smith okay i was the first as a dg to record on the same thing hmm. second person the first as a dj 
No, listen to me, you know. And I want you to read my lips. Because I am telling you like it is. Sin is when that rhythm was made. When that rhythm was made, no DJ couldn't ride it. Okay. No DJ could DJ on the slinting rhythm when it was made. Mm -hmm. No. Jammies, back then, Green Sleeve used to take most of Jammies thing. Jammies wanted, um, back then, you know, on a Disco 45, you'd have the, 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 um, the vocal, the DJ part, the rhythm, and instrumental. Jammies want a DJ to put on the slinting rhythm. Jammies, trust me, oh, I don't know why, but in ear when ear, Jamis trust me. Them time the Jamis now run off no rhythm. Mm -hmm. Jamis now run off in rhythm and give a DJ if you care one. Singers could have singers could get it. Okay. So, all right, you know, a song, but DJ now get none. Jamis give me it. Mm -hmm. As a DJ, I said, Tonto, I'm gonna go to England Friday. I'm a need, me need, Ray, Ray, Ray. Me know you can do it. I was living in Augustown then. Got the thing in the movie, you see me? I'm going to go down upon the corner, a corner named Jungle 12 corner. And again, I highlight that once and I'll say it again. That corner was originally named by Iman also. But we name it as Joe. Just as like we used to play corner league and Ray 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 Ray. But anyway, the long story short. Um, I took it down on the corner and a portion of you, Rotterdam, Aga, you know, uh, Fladu, you know me, I said, it's a whole heap of youth. Zane, just get around, my see. Whole heap of youth get around, and early be a song that was number one at the time. Yeah, one wheel, wheelie, you feel really one wheel. Aye. It's not a bargain, this is not a deal. But then now, mm -hmm. you have, there was a set of bicycle youth where you used to, where you used to bus back in the days, near one a penny passy. A push okay. on a bicycle, mud. Them man, they come a dance, a judgment. See? So back then, if you say, like, big up the posse, then, you know what I'm saying? Then you sound would, would have a buzz in the dance hall space. Got you. You understand what I'm saying? So that's where I came up now with, with the, that hook. One up and they pass it, you feel right in this song. Jump fence, pass it, you feel jump in a this song. Uh, if you must pass it, yeah, you feel run, come quick. Now me have a new style, man, me all feel flash it. Uh, who must feel your ears and I listen to it. Uh, yesterday evening, made it feel sick. Uh, but I never like to see you, me have a mix. So, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We made that song. It's when me carried back and Jamie's recorded. Jamie said, don't do I eat this. Jamie said, don't do I eat this. I eat this. You know what? The Friday. That song was off, but then again, you know, that was my first number one song. Mm -hmm. First number one song. And trust me, there was so many other version of slinting, but let me, I'm going too fast. Let me say, say this again, because I said it before. When slinting came about, mm -hmm. no DJ. You used to hear them. Kind of scratchy. No, there was no scratch. New style. Get with it. You see me? Mm -hmm. When I did that song, then I guess it gave everybody a feel. Or, and I am not underrating anybody, you know, but just imagine. Just imagine, Muscle. You used to drive on the road in a car. And now, cars start flying. Now nah, I'm going to jump on those flights so you see. Because you, know? mm -hmm. you used to drive in car on the road. Do I, do, do, does this make sense? 100%. You're driving on the road, and now there was no more you drive on the road. You have to fly. Mm -hmm. You have to go practice. Well, I practice. I go down a jungle to Africa, and I go practice. Panda slim thing there. See? And that was it. After I made that song, then everybody everybody have an idea how to attack it and do you even realize that now the business has gone from analog to digital where again this is just another rhythm okay this is something new and exciting 
at that time there. All right, my thoughts then, I was even thinking that far. You understand what I'm saying? Because then I was just saying, yeah, new thing, but like me, I said, Jamie's had that vision. It was just another song for me then. You know, not, not even seeing that, oh, this is a transformation. No, you know, yo, you're gone in a history. No, no, you can't. This. No, I wasn't even thinking that far, to be honest with you. Yeah? Because after that, then you have the tempo, which, is, which came from the same, the same saga. Eh? It's the same family of... There we go, because that, that was the second digital rhythm. Tempo. And then I, I did um, It A Ring. Big song. It A Ring. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to tell you, bigger than I thought. Hmm. And that, it go on good. It go on good. It go on wicked. Mm -hmm. It's in Shutter Soundtrack. And <laughs> That's what? where... That's where a lot of modern people would know that song from. Yeah, 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 yeah. True, true. Yeah, I mean, big, big deer. There's a couple more songs I want to go through because there's some of the dances I want to go through, some legendary jammies. There was another big song that you did, but this was not recorded for jammies. This was recorded for um, Donovan Germain. This was yeah, the yeah, best bad, lover. Bad, world best lover. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Upon the um, pressure and slide with him. But one dance can do one dance could yeah, do right, right. Yeah, man, world best lover. Mm -hmm. But again. And you know, I was I, I would not say, yo, yo, big up Jeremy, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, and, and when, when when one do good to me or towards I I have a I have a show to tell, you see me? For sure. Jeremy is one of the ones that you know and 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 and, and you know say we can't leave old father with you now, Diana, because let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. Things like these was greatly appreciated back then because it's the one thing with Witty. Witty would say to me, Tonto, if you need a money, if you need a money or you need anything, talk to the secretary. Mm -hmm. And if we're going there, we want a $500, $1,000, whatever, we would just sign for the money and would get that money. Witty was the only one I knew back then that was doing that. Because he also knew that he's going to make it back. Yeah. Because back then recording was selling like crazy. Okay. So even because I know you did, okay, before we even go fully into that, how do you connect with Donovan Jermaine back then? Because I think All this right. was even pre-Penthouse at that time there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was Jermaine's label. All right, let me tell you something. All right. Jermaine and Witty is friends. Saying okay, and 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 I think I am not even one hundred percent sure, but I think that um that is how he came to some of this one of the sessions or or whatever whatever. Or he was working with Philip Smart one time, and then after him, then was Witty and. You know, we'll make a link and him just telling me that he was putting out a rhythm and he would like me to record a song on it. But them time, you know, I never knew him as a big producer or I just knew him as Jeremy. I thought he was doing, just doing something to my knowledge. To, when I found out Jeremy and I produced big tune from him before that. Mm -hmm. See, so got a long story short, you know, I did it and you know, he gave me an advance and each time I saw Jermaine, Jermaine always blessed me. Okay. Always. Mm. So it was it was a good vibe between you and um Jermaine. So it yeah. was like and you know what? You know what you know what amazed me with Jermaine and Bridget? It was only one song I did for him. Okay. Only one song. And not because I couldn't, like, you know, I, I, you know, it's like, it's like, to be honest with you, it's like I wasn't interested anymore in the business because guess what now? I had loved cooking and I went back to culinary school. I went to culinary school. 
okay? And I become a certified chef. Got you. So then, you know, if this not treat me right, or gone, this one, it's like anyone paying the bills on a on a on a on a on a day to day basis, you know, you know, this or me, you know. But the love of the thing is still in me. The love of the thing is still in me and will always be in me. Like I'm saying again, what annoys me or what pisses me off is the people who are in the, the space of the business. Mm -hmm. Enough of them know themselves. Yeah? My lord, it's a whole cake or an apple. Who don't eat cake, eat apple. If you don't eat apple, an orange. You see, the orange is so big. Now, like one man or two man, I jam like this. It is big enough for the whole away. I'm going to stop going like some idiot. And that, me, I tell you, I make all some people I come take what we think. You see me? You know, you know, everything create from reggae, dance, everything, every other show, and every, everything else created from that. And I found out the young statue, you know, we not beat to Nina car. I love listening to Nina. You know. One thing, they can't dance to the tune, but we are full of vibe and rap to it. Uh. You see me? Yeah. But, I know I'm just all over the place in you know, the car. When I talk, when I talk about all the music thing, you know, I tell you, you know, you know, the channel, you know, the man, you know, right now, anyone who watch an interview, they know, say, they know, say, it's an elder, I show him at all, he know what he say. My youth, you know, you were born, me, I born out, no found no, my lord. You know, two corrupt gangs, you know, one another, Jed. What are you talking about? One lick of space, with a strong up, and burn up this. Keep it top to about in an hour work show with Ray Ray Ray, the two on the go up, they go collide then and deal with the thing wicked. Yo, big up everyone in the business still, you know. Mm -hmm. Big up everyone in the business, young, old, and everyone. That may I tell you, Rigan King, big up yourself. You don't know. Glad to say you recover. Love your song with you on the hill, is it me? Aye, man. Big, 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 yeah, big man. Song. And I want to tell you, you know, let me let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. See, because guess what? Like me, I say, no, me listen to the youth. Don't get me wrong, you know. Me know the whole of them. See? One of my favorite, one of my favorite, and I have to say this from in this little, this little 10 year span, maybe nine year span, Massacre. Okay. One of my, we now talk about from the 15 year span. If you talk about from the, within the 15 year something, the 14 year something. Bugle and assassin. Uh. Assassin is not a normal artist. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And I don't think he get his full credit. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Big enough. Yeah. Yeah. But I think me personally not think him getting full potential. Or what not, he really not brings to the table. But it's full credit. For what he brings to the table, yeah, somebody man, like him, but, versatility, yeah, man. In bad and and me, I tell you something. It's a bugle. Mm -hmm. I know bugle was lyrical, mm -hmm. but me never know say him so wicked as a writer. Mm -hmm. One of the best writer as a DJ I have seen. Yeah, bugle and lieutenant stitchy. Lyrical, when it comes lyrical, to words, bugle and lieutenant L lyrical. Listen, listen, bugle as a DJ, mm -hmm. lyrical in terms of listen, make we leave cartel over this. Or the car, guess I know it's a cartel now. Mm -hmm. Cartel in a the thing, but we are talking about the bugle and assassin. I understand what you mean, yeah, but. We can't leave out cartel either. No way. Talented youth. Extremely, extremely. Listen, before we go too far, there's a couple of dances that I have to ask you about. Okay. The the funny thing with it, these are some when you were uh, when was the first time you left Jamaica to go somewhere outside of Jamaica on a sound system? 
I think it was um um I think it was uh, 84 me echo mine at uh, we went to the first time we flew to Jamaica I think it was 84 me and echo mine went to um Cayman okay Cayman that was the first time I flew but um was that a show or a dance um I want to tell you you know it was a dance though mm-hmm. it was a dance on King Jammies Mm-mm. no it was a song from Cayman okay big all right since we're talking about fly out a big dance that i remember was a king jammies versus downbeat i think this was about 86 this was you versus papa son yeah uh, so them dance there them dance there history dance mm-hmm. me and chaka demos mm-hmm. yeah and listen to me again i will give credit where credit is due son Bad artists. Mm-hmm. Bad artists. Saying, but it's the night there, eh? mm-hmm. and we get the better. Eh? That may I tell you. Mm-hmm. Lock off down beat. King Jammies. Yeah. Lock off down beat, son. You hear me? We got the better you that night, son. Remember mm-hmm. the time you met me run from over Spanish town, son. Make me run from over Spanish town one time. Hold on, before we get, I have <laughs> in my mind, I have the Spanish town in my mind, but I want to finish Yo, you the right, and Japanese. It's bad. It's bad. Man. What happened that night with the downbeat uh, and Japanese? Yeah, uh, you know, young DJs are come up and uh, follow up and thing and thing and Jaja, you don't know, say, Black Star now, a pill uptown, mm-hmm. isn't it? Black Star, everybody are talking about Black Star, but you know, I don't know who draw that card up and star because I don't think him know. Mm-hmm. Creation. In a creation. HQ. You hear me say? Black star with creation in creation in a, in a mother G place. Mm-hmm. And you hear me? I say, yo, me and Danny Jed alone, and I say, yo, same thing again. I say, yo, I'm a deaf brigadier there in Jamaica. Cause we know Santa Pepper, you know. Mm-hmm. Zin, my lad, we go here say San not dead it. San gone to Canada. And mostly I hear me. Me and Danny J take the man and check say we are run away with it. Because guess what? I be your forward. Be your forward. Yeah. And we swear say now we are coming at the area, come defeat them like how we, we do did to Metro Media, is it me? Mm-hmm. Me I hear, rrr, rrr, I come through the gate. Mm-hmm. And me I say, me think I think I'm going to bully for people more and rush a forward in, you know? Mm-hmm. No, no, that. Here comes Sam. In a night there. Mm-hmm. Listen to me now, man. Me really now. Listen to me. You have a youth near Neville. Mm-hmm. We drive, carry over there in a Land Rover. You see when Sam start, Eh? All right, here we are now. I'm tell you something. The first time me, me, Tonto, here, that makes you do, 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 Mr. Danny Dredd, so when you are forward, <laughs> tell Tony, say, yo, forward, we ready. <laughs> yeah, man, run, run from over that, man. Yeah, man, but, yeah. but, Lieutenant Stitchy, mm-hmm. Lieutenant Stitchy, greatest, man. Mm-hmm. Yo, them man, the trace off your clothes off of your tail, you know, I tell you that, you know. Yeah, man, them man, they, yo, yo, yo a two, a two of the most terrible DJ ever come out of Jamaica. But you say you got back, you got back, San, and don't be that. Yeah, man, and more than, listen, listen, then of the four sound clash now, not the Metro Media to man, they want to lock off Metro Media of the sort of man. And San was on it. Oh, you mean if San did on it? San and Metro and, and them, man, Metro, you remember? Mm-hmm. Mm. But here, you know, it's a stitchy. When Stitchy surface now, DJ in afternoon of the approach, Lieutenant Stitchy. Mm-hmm. 
you, you better approach with caution. Mm -hmm. Yo, the man they have a flock of hyena behind them. Lieutenant Stitchy Ricky Stero, um, Wolfman. Ray Ridu, one bag of hyena. And then Stitchy set the hyena them for you. And then here comes Wolfman, here comes Stitchy. Yeah, man, them dead, yeah, them, them, them DJ, no man, you're not supposed to know, man. Them, man, they're miserable, man. Oh, yes, man. Yeah, man. Bad, bad talk, sir. Did Jamie's ever clash there one? You remember and you run it? No, not in my time. You know what? You're right, because Stereo One came out a bit later in the 80s, and I think at this time you had left already. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. like because it. that was like 87, 88, and stuff like that. All right, another big dance, I remember King Jamie's. This one was in New York, Brooklyn, at the Empire Skating Disco. Oh, right? yeah, the muscle. Mm -hmm. Signature dance again. Mm -hmm. Yo, it's the same amount of people were on the inside Empire Skating Ring. The same amount of people outside. See? Mm -hmm. Judgment. Me, Chapter Demos, John Wayne, Bombing Man. Mm -hmm. Yo, John, Judgment again. That was a real, that was a very big dance. Mm -hmm. Very big dance. Because what I remember most was that night, Bombing Man had like a, it looked like a horn or a, I don't even know what it was. It's bamboo. It's mm -hmm. a bamboo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the coach chain them and they wearing you know, a mm. real coach chain and them nothing, nothing normal about them and they, you know. Oh, ja, ja. Yo, listen, you see when the man started to turn on the um the sling thing on that bamboo? Boah, so, yeah, man. You, mean, man. You, 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 see, you see, oh, I and I can be creative, Bridget. Mm -hmm. Oh, bamboo man could just know, say, yo, you can just take a piece of bamboo on it. <laughs> and deal the thing with it. Wicked, 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 wicked. Crazy. And on but, top of that, you're DJing on the rhythm. On top of that. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Because it sounds just like the rhythm. Mm -hmm. But, but listen, listen, muscle. You see me still? Mm -hmm. I, I, I try to touch as much areas that I possibly can. You know, I, you, you know like when I do uh, interview at times, you know, I might be all over the place. But, you know, it's just, it's just, I have a lot of issues with how the business is structured, mm -hmm. how it is run, and guess what? Are we as artists should I run the business? We should have bond. Well, 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 well no, me, 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 put myself in it. Okay. The youths of tomorrow, the youths of today, yeah, and the elder one, them like, you know, the Bojo, the Sizzler, the the, 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 the Shango, you, you see me, mm -hmm. Killer, the Stitchy, the, 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 you, you know. Even, 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 even Vegas, because Vegas have a, a white following, you know. Yo, my lad, Jaja, me a big guy, them Rasta. I could take back the thing like that dog. I could take over back the thing and run the place, so man. It's dead for we, you know. So what do you feel is the real disconnect between producers and artists, and especially back then? Um, let me tell you, um, here what was a lot of us um, issues now as artists. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you want to express something that you want to express. Zin in a lyric, mm -hmm. the producer will tell you, um, no, I mean, I like that. Do this, do that. Um, yes, I can understand, you know, like I'm a, like Jamie's, you know, you know, you uh, arrange, you know, but I'm used to wonder, you know, say, me and the DJ. Yeah. Why? Yes, you can, you, you know, suggest, but that doesn't necessarily mean for the DJ or the singer, mm -hmm. you know, them feel comfortable. This, you know, um, they always want us to do what they want us to do. Mm -hmm. You know, it was not balanced where. And you found that was the biggest disconnect. Yeah, that that that's a part of it, and and, and you know, also sometimes you know, I mean, I like tell lie in a muscle. Mm -hmm. So here you know, muscle. I don't want you ask me a certain question, you know, because it's like when you ask me a certain question, I feel like I want to drop out some bomb. 
really don't want nobody to hate me. You know? mm-hmm. Like, I'm mean, I not even care now, you know. But, but don't want, don't, you know, sorry if I sound ignorant, but I'm not. It's just mm-hmm. that sometimes, you know, you have to put that something in the thing. You see? I'm like, you're, you're talking from a place of passion where you've been oh, yeah, in this place. Fireball. Huh? fireball, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Muscle. Mm-hmm. I don't want to go here. Because I guess I said, if I go here, eh? Me tell you, eh? Fire. You know more I know? Mm-hmm. Muscle. What I want to know. Some producers back then. Some producers back then. Mm-hmm. Seen? When I never said, look at you, them, whether to tune them for honor. I don't know, go here, I to get an advance. Christmas, so called Christmas back then and holidays. And you know, so the little man they did have youths. I don't know, could I take up even $50 and, and, and stretch and give them? Yo, no found a producer, no cool, you know that. I'm cool. Yeah, no cool. That's why when you see a, enough of the youth, them turn superstar. Seen and don't even look back on some of them, all when them old. Mm-hmm. You can't, yo, because yo, you have some you to forgive and don't forget, and you have some when I forgive. Mm-hmm. You are know, holy, but you want to say, but some say, of them are old. Then. Say what you're saying, Tanto. That's no, what I'm going to hold some of them, man. Okay, so let me ask you this then. What was your relationship outside of King Jammies with Steely and Bobby Digital? All right, here we go. It's a Steely and Bobby. Bobby, I'm one of the coolest producers me ever know. One of the coolest, coolest, coolest producers me ever know. And men I ask Christ, seeing. This a women know. I mean, know Bobby Digital more than enough of them. You know. Me tonto. Me the dad jammies. When Bobby Digital come out forward, a jammies, Bobby Digital a electrician, I think. Yeah? When me know Bobby, Bobby a dig out one wall, round at the side, I put in a bigger junction box. Mm-hmm. Zane, Bobby a one of the coolest. Rest, 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 rest in, rest in paradise in a youth. Zane, but sorry, you never dare for ear come with a talk. The same way, some is still. He's in my Bobby, but rest in peace. Bobby no give man money. Bobby no give nobody no money. And the man they walk past you and act like yo yo yo. The man they too cold here, man. Man they too cold here. Enough I water me say me turn to me. Look, looking at me eye. Enough eye water, I see youths. Yeah? And I would have called some of them names. Ball. All I left the studio, walk more them yard and have number one tune, basically. I've, I've tuned at the top five at all. And nothing. 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 The man, them, some of them cool, dog. Yeah, some of them, yo, you know, you have some man beats, yo, yo, the man them too, some of the man them too wicked, man. The man them wicked, dog. Uh. So this is, this is a real question here. If everybody, not even everybody outside of the industry, some people inside of the industry knew that things weren't the way they should have been. Why would people continue to record for these producers that they heard this or they seen this or they have some sort of feeling about it. All right, check this out. Let me tell you this. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to try to articulate myself the best as I possibly can Okay. when it comes to that. But I'm going to put my face straight with the camera there. It's a back then, back then, 90% of, you see, all right, listen, listen, let me break this down. Mm-hmm. 
a lot of the artists back then they were either illiterate or semi-illiterate okay and that's a fuck 70s Sep a beer a beer road boy used to be dj you know one night time we used to free it for tell people so we are dj you know okay see but one of the reasons why that keep happening because it was so hard to get in another camp so if you're there for example just just for example say you're there by jammies then mm -hmm. you can record when you want you can blase blase blah 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 for you to leave jammies and for corona tobies are whoever you understand me where they're not going to embrace you right away and back then a lot of the artists didn't know how they just want them just in it for the love me i tell you all a man like demos and them man the you brown trevor ranking yo the greatest thing is to see them man they are dance ranking joe and brigadier jerry dance ram them man they not them man they, they, them man they, Yo, Fireball, them just record, them just record. And enough of them, they did record themselves, but guess what? Maybe the outlet was there for them either because, you know, but they have they keep recording for these people. And I know you might say they had a, they, 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 they had a choice. Yeah, but guess what? To them, a lot of them not seen no other way. I mean, the studio and the producer embrace them out and I record them and I put out the tune them. So although them now get no money but them are get little recognition and them thing a grow but financially the thing now coming over this up so they have to keep recording for them but um and, and you know this they they, they they have no other way out so sometimes it's sometimes it's upfront money say okay i'm looking to get paid or some people were probably looking just to fly out that's why a lot of them, once they started to fly, never came back. They figured, yeah, this man, is my yeah, way out. Yeah, you see, a man like me, you know. You see, a man like me. Me, you know, say. The only way me go far with a foreign. And if me start DJ, because I don't know nobody a foreign. And me a grow, I don't know nobody a foreign. They say me have a uncle in England, but you see, all him. Even, uh, yo, fire. Joe. Hmm. Yeah, you see me? He's alone in a fire. Mm -hmm. Two sister and 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 I know. Mm -hmm. up in and he's alone. He's alone a fire. Most of three mystery again in a car right now. Must have you know some areas of more and going a muscle. May I tell you a judgment? Here, yeah, that may I tell you. Mm. Me head a boil, you know. Yeah, man, me head a boil, man. Mm -hmm. Me have some name I want to call and burn them out, you know. But I don't want them say I take take a shoot on Ray, Ray, Ray. No, for me, hey, I want, hey, I want crush some on a big toe, you know. Here, yeah, stay there, here. Yeah. Think he's a nice old boy. Listen, in all of this, one yeah. name that I didn't hear you bring up yet and i knew that you were around from the beginning was jack scorpio right now i'm in an oh all right i'm gonna tell you something hey jack hold on uh, fix my glasses there uh, jack you know me listen all of your interview them in general no respect this all of your out of views them jack remember the first the first four reading the first four reading that you cut me, Tonto Irie, Jamis, Billy Bravo, and you went to Channel One. The engineer was Soji. The gate man was Zebi. R.I.P. Zebi. You never produce a tune before that in your life. Jamis took you to the studio. It was in a November or October, somewhere there, but because you're a scorpion. 
one of them month. Jam is get you, make it your first rhythm and make you start produce. Me remember that chap. I wonder who never hear that yet. Yeah, Jammy, Jammy, Jammy put Jack in the business as a producer. King Jammy. And Jack, you can't, you can't challenge that. Because I guess everybody was close by, so it makes sense. That's why at one time Black Scorpio and King Jammies were such big rivals, because they're in the area. So, yeah, they'll probably help each other, but they also had a vibe also at the end of the day. Yeah, I mean, I know what happened to them vibe, you know, one thing I tell you, you know, see King Jammies, mm -hmm. them man, they're not around with some business, you know, that I tell you. Them man, they're not in a friend. You see, after dance done and everything, you and them a friend again, Ray, Ray, Ray. But them man, they're not in a laugh thing. Them man, they're, not, yo, them man, they're serious with them thing. When dance I keep them a war, them man they say, nobody come talk about big up to stone love, a big up to stone love war, a war. Mm. You never know. Yeah, man, nobody ramp with jammies on them song. When I war, a war, man. Ask mm. anybody. Mm. One other person I asked you about earlier, but we didn't really get to get into him, was Steely. Because I heard somewhere, when it came to the original Silverhawk, you either had something to do with it or you knew something. What about Steely and Silver? Uh, you know, so this is some of the original people. When we said the original, youths were grew up in Augustown. Youths from Augustown. These people would know exactly what I'm talking about. Let me tell you something. There's an engineer named Arthur. Arthur used to work by Jamie and then he went by Bobby. See? He said, Arthur, Arthur, the owner of the general, that first song that I'm telling you about was Dennis, but Arthur was the maybe technician or whatever, whatever, and he used to play the song. Now, Steely, as a little you know, who are fly out regular with Radix, Gregory Band, you know, he used to borrow General Box then, and him have a tape and a one piece of amps and Ray Ray Ray, but more time General want back in boxing because General want play and Ray Ray. Anyway, cut a long story short. Me, look at me, me, Tonto, Gary Steely, down a Ellison Flats, down a Black Star sound, and make Danny Black Star build the first two box. And you know who, who, can, who can, can verify this? A youth named G. Bags, the bags are kind of sick up now, see? see? Yeah, listen, build the first two box. Listen. Steely had a big head one time, a little under 50. See? That is the first form of transportation Steely had that I know about. See? Them teeth the big head. Steely bought a, a, a 3,000 Capri. See? And had a youth from over Dread Eyes with a bunny, I think a bunny him name. A drive for him. But Earwald, he had a 450 night hop that came from, I don't know where it came from, which country it, it, it followed from, but in carried me, Tonto, and Barsley, Bunny and Steely, for I and I go to airport, go look on it in a crate. Zane, the name Silverhawk, that name, seen, came about right here on Augustone Road over Bush, Bush and Tipper and over the yard. Over the yard. That name, Silver Hawk. They, they wanted was to, um, 450 Night Hawk came up. Night Hawk came up. I think it's Steely with this. I don't remember exactly who, but that's how the Silver Arc came about. That part there. Me never, you know, I mean, I mean, Steely, yo, he was a musical genius, though, you know. Mm -hmm. Seriously, you know. Yeah. He was a musical genius. Charger. Crazy. Listen, I got a couple more questions before I get you out of here. One thing I want to know is, is when you look at your catalog, you have a D 
decent catalog, but it doesn't seem like you have a huge catalog of no. music. You were more or less, you'd see you on sound, stage shows, and those type of stuff there. When do you, when would you say you basically walked away from the music? At what point in your career will you say this music, you didn't like it, you didn't feel what was going on anymore? At what point in your career did you walk? Um, all right. Like leaving it alone, totally. Mm-hmm. Not recording, not, you know, just cooking. It was like um, 92, 93, because I was still recording with Music Masters, you know, and, you know, you know do, a, do a couple other songs for a few producers, but let me, uh, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you what. I, I remember, you know, you know, I put out, I, I, I individual put out an a album with me, Zane. And I remember one time I was on Utica Avenue, saying, and the individual ran up to me, saying, I said to me, say, yo, um, we need pictures now, we need pictures now, we need pictures now. I mean, I said, yo, I'm going to fresh up myself and get myself together, you know. I said, yo, fresh up, you know, see a star, blah, blah, blah. Took pictures. Mm-hmm. Saying this was in like um, 89, 90. And this individual put out this album never get a dollar. And yeah, people I'm a naive to the business back then. Back then, but but here the good thing now. Mm-hmm. I have my whole recording company now which is Albatraz recording, okay? From now on, I will be putting out my own songs. Nobody not talk to me. Look out for my new album. I haven't done an album in, since Starfish, a single old stop, mm-hmm. and it won't be normal. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Ja, ja. Is this the album coming up? We're talking about the return of the album legend? coming up. I, 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 there's a single out now. It's, it's about about six months. Um, return of the legend, and 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 there's one coming in a in a, in a few weeks. Title: Fat Melody. Hmm. But look out for original Tonto Aire. Yeah, member. But hey Robert, Robert, you hear what your name? Rob Earth. When you rob it hurts. I'm a general, you know, but you hear me. Why, Jaja, I see you. I see you, Robert. You have beat you here. Muscle. Don't know you know. It, it really seems like the business really bothered you on another level out there, like deep yeah. inside you in your soul. Yo, muscle the man them cool in the business in a muscle. Mm-hmm. Yo, so muscle the man them cool like Alaska. You know, so the ice, the, you know, so the Antarctic melt. Mm-hmm. And the energy of the man them in the music business I make the thing melt in Right. Yo, not for them to hot my lad. Yo, the man, them, yo, the man, them wicked is a shame muscle. The man, them wicked. Yo, you say for you, you say, you, you say for iron. Yo, the channel, I tell you. Yo, the man, them. Yo, some of the youth, them, you know. Yo, some of the youth, them, you know, could have make it in the business, you know. The man, them, who do you stretch them and, you know, and help out a situation more time, you know. That's why, that's why a certain man so I, Yo, channel. The man, them, the man, them too weak in here, man. The man, them not share when they know the youth, them deserve it. Them don't share. Them don't share. And it's because them know, so we're naive to the, to, to the business, that, 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 that business part of the thing there. Yeah? Yeah, share them. I'm not saying enough true, Messina. 
when nobody know nothing about nothing, nothing appear in name from from over Uganda. I don't even know nobody at Uganda. Jaja. Easy. See me in the video, Jano. It's. Robert, you don't give me no money off of the album, Robert. No money at all. Not even a dollar. Not even a dollar. I mean, no way you're going to tell me, say, no. No, I don't, I don't, I don't mean you to fit Robert. I don't too cool, my lad. But God go with you in a year. Mm. Isn't there anything retroactive that could be done with your your body of work that's out there right now? Yeah, man, yeah, man. I have all of that to come on the one banana man. And all who feel like say them get wet. Uno don't get wet. Uno get wet. When me have no money, different thing you know. Uno no get wet. I will tell you that. It's a different thing. Yeah? Last and one I have here for you. This is not a threat on one's on individual physically, you know. No. But me I go need me money. And now I have the way how to get me money. Watch it for the thing that you last one I have here for you. Last one, last one. Came to your career, been in the business from late 70s till right now, 2021. When would you say was the highest point in your career and the lowest point in your career thus far? I spot of the career, seeing from the slinting bus from 85 come all the way up till about, well, I was in America in like late 80s. So, but over in America, you know, I was still buzzing in New York and, and them places when me a record for Witty. Yeah, but the lowest part is like, you know, wear and tear in the 90s, like, you know, young 90s. Because then I start working culinary, you know, because heart is art, you know. Start working culinary and, you know, just, but I've always had the love for music though, always. You know, now people is, you know, I never used to do dubs. Never. Okay. But now, you know, they're rolling in steadily. Rolling in, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, veteran and I think them are come for the veteran show then, isn't it? How come you never used to do dubs? Because it it I I, it, I for some strange reason, mm -hmm. the first time I did some dubs, right, mm -hmm. was in in um 2001 2002 in Paris I never I never used to do dubs never used to do dubs son and it took me a while to like get into that field because I know that I have to construct my songs to you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. you know I never used to do dubs but you know you know now you know I got it you know feel you know and chop them like wow Mm -hmm. mm, so. Talk, talking about that there if anybody wanted dubs to check out what you have coming up or anything like that where could they check out what you have going on uh my ig page is legendary tonto irie that's instagram legendary tonto irie or i jamaica.honey at gmail.com or you know i go I'm on Facebook by my government, you know, Errol Benjamin, Facebook. See him, Tonto, I, you know, but look out for the new single, you know. And I'm about to go on like say, some mingle thing, you know. New single, mm -hmm. fat melody, mm -hmm. you see me. Show you so the veteran still can't hold it, you see me. I remember, you know, mm -hmm. look something that's still out with me and Big Simon. We have a plan. Remember that something there, yeah? yeah. And remember, return of the legend. You can go, 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 go look it up on YouTube and 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 and, and, and look at animation video that they feed to you know, yeah. We are go forward with that visual for the next show, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm gonna see the veteran, yeah, yeah, man. Up move muscle. You understand? Before I get you out of here, you know there's one thing I gotta ask you for. Do it, I... muscle. <laughs> Every posse, I need that acapella, please, before we go. Well, people. Now, 85, we are sting. 85, we are shock. I'm going to need dreadlocks. 
Lord of his mercy. Hear me know what and up in the pass you fi ride in a dis chum fence pass you fi jump in a dis famous pass yeah you fi run come quick now me have a new style and man me out fi flash it to put my few ears and I listen to it Boom! yesterday evening me did feel sick mother never like to see you me have a meet so she give me me this out of the medicine she so rub down me body with the old time civic from fi me head that to me shoulder one me hip now she put me to bed me drop asleep well quick wake up next Money feel energetic. Take me skipping rope and then we start to skip. Go around the can and me go take me tonic. Job dead. Judgment. Tanto, it's like it's like it just jumped out of you. We're having a conversation, but when I said, okay, music time, you just went into that zone in your mind, in your soul, yeah. wherever it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. First number one song. Mm-hmm. Done to Irie. Big up jammies. Crazy. You see, this conversation, I definitely love this conversation, epic conversation, but it seems like you've had a lot of stuff on your heart and your soul and your mind that you definitely wanted to speak about and get yeah. it out there because you could see it's something that bothered you for a really long time. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, I always wanted to vent, you know, but 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 guess what? Sometimes, you know, you know, something you say, you know, leave it alone and the next time, somebody need to make these people know that yo my lord mm-hmm. yo whole heap of youths on the earth in a fire whole heap of youths me know enough of them yo hey jaja hey you see how some 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 man we are artists I'll, yo jaja I'll some little man we drop we mm-hmm. drop legend veteran icon in the team but drop yeah and nobody for even contribute a thing so they get a good burial hmm. yeah man me know i wanna know for una go say yeah so oh you my lad uno contact me if i have it me i'll put it and that me i tell you this on my heart day it hurt me when i'll i ride and all them monday the monday a long before my time seen and the man the sick out and one one little money if you do an operation i never know i was in europe them time when he died mm. if me did their jamaica i have the food me a care to give and me a high rise that my friend like that my lord some of the man them were blessed and i make a money sometime an elder or a veteran who don't have to worry about me and don't bother think this is not braggadocious type of You don't have to worry about me. Mm-hmm. But me I talk about the other people who are less fortunate. Zane, things happen. For sure. Things happen along the way. We book our two, whether we hurry or late. You know, things happen in general. But guess what? We're all in the same space. Listen, any one of them thing that little people and drop out or ray 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 once them come from yeah link me nobody feel like one does and get my money does so do you know? mm-hmm. me i got digging at this something yeah it's just you know yo yo jano it's co-workers everybody's in the yeah, that's all me i said fire mm-hmm. that's all me i say you know have to be friend with the one mm-hmm. co-workers to be friend with the one some is more fortunate than some no for one take a eh, metal or something. You know. Boom, for boom one up, you know. Because I guess what? You know, no for one all. Sure. You know, can reach out, man. You can reach out. Mm-hmm. I always, yo, John Chino, I always respect the elders before I, you know. I mean, I don't want nobody. But me name I talk about I. Me I talk about, you know, right now, me I tell you something. Me, honestly, I would never ever if i don't can't like like walk up in front of the individual and make eye contact me not heal me not heal them because guess what no it's like i don't want to be embarrassed although i know some of them i'm not saying anything to them you think me are even stitching sand back then at them time then them now past the brigadier the general or Josie Wheeler, you Brown or Trevor Rankin or 
demon, sir. And I bless them up and know, say, yo, Jaja, the I was before, I respect. You don't have to bow down to nobody, but there was people before you, and you know, all the younger ones, them know, now go see it, because you guys think shall pass and it evolve. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Yeah, but to job in the glory, you know? You understand anybody you want to big up anything else you want to say floors yours right now before i get you out of here yeah man yeah man yeah man yeah man watch this now king bless up yourself you know so admiral yourself, you hear that chaka demos anthony malvo earl cunningham broke back lie james but daddy you know the only thing you show me along the way too Bless up yourself here. Yeah. Muscle, thanks for having me in on. And, 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 and I'm sorry that I was all over the place, but you see me, a summer thing going on, Muscle. I, I, yeah. get your, I, get what you're, I get what you're saying. You just follow along and we'll go down the path. Yeah. So I understand but where you're coming from. I don't want sugar coat, nothing, you know. Muscle, I don't drop the bomb, you know. But I tell you, you know, we are going to make it go on. We are going to make them live for see another day. You see me? Muscle, not for speaking on my daddy. Thank you so very much. Let me give you an outro and get you out of here because this has been an epic conversation. And I'm glad that you got certain things off your chest without it being in a disrespectful or a, a non-tasteful type of manner. You understand? Hold on. Hold on. Shine it. Lieutenant Stitch it. Ricky Stereo. Bless up. Greatest, you don't know. See? Vegas, big up yourself. Uh, Show them how the thing go. Muscle, out. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Muscle, and this has been another Two Line Music Cuts Entertainment Report podcast, and we are out. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinesmusichut.com. <laughs>